Hello. Today we're going to go through VST integration with BitBig, and we're going to use one of my and probably many of your favorites, uh, Massive, for the example of uh, different ways, or at least a way, you can integrate Massive with your BitWig workflow. So, uh, first thing, you know, my favorite. So we're going to put the Massive plugin inside the LFO so we can drive the controls uh, of Massive with um, our LFOs. So, you know, throw on the OSC1 position and you see the knobs are dancing here. And uh, that's really cool because, you know, Massive doesn't do that built in. You just kind of have to imagine uh, where the knobs are. But now with, you know, this wonderful uh, Bitwig integration, we can see, see what happens. So. So yeah, this is very simple. Um, but one thing I found rather limiting was Bitwig's built-in LFOs are, you know, useful and all, but when you compare them to, you know, the LFOs available in Massive, there, there's there's really no alternative. I mean, you know, you, ha you have two waveforms here. You can select between a number of different curves and position them exactly how you, exactly how you want, apply a, an envelope to that, and it has um, kind of the mono and restart options to let you do different kind of, you know, syncopated effects. And so, you know, it, it'd be great if you could take this output and put it back into Bitwig because, you know, um, having more advanced LFOs would be really neat. Well, it turns out you can. Surprise, surprise. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to, we have our, our basic stock patch here, and uh, but we're just going to, you know, pull it out so we're not doing that modulation anymore um, and we're going to use the the audio modulation and uh, it's kind of a, a little bit tricky um, but basically it takes your your incoming note or your incoming audio information and transforms it into data so you can modulate another parameter inside of Bitwig so um, one of my favorites for these demonstrations is the, the organ uh, because it just, it's really easy to see the, you know, the changes that happen, or really easy to hear the changes that happen when you uh, modulate a parameter. So, of course, now we can see here that the uh, drawbars are being changed, but there's, according to this, this up here is the MIDI indicator. So there's no MIDI information being passed through. I'm not sure if this is intentional or still a bug, but Massive is not passing through MIDI information. So we have to wrap this in an instrument layer to make make to pass that through. So we can see that indeed the parameters are being changed somewhat. But we can't really hear hear exactly what's going on. So what we're gonna do is uh, throw this LFO onto our amplifier. It doesn't really matter what patch or you know waveform we're using, because all we're really concerned about is the amplitude modulation. And so I see it's just not. So we're driving the LFO from Massive. It so lets us pull in, you know, the awesome step sequencer here. Um, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Oh, because that's right.
you go. That's it. You're, we're now driving the, the internal LFOs with external instruments. Again, more amazing stuff out of Bitwig. So uh, thanks a lot, and uh, catch you later.